What is going on guys, are you back again? And today I'm going to show you how to do the main easter egg in the new Infinite Warfare Zombies map, Shaolin Shuffle. Before we get started on this, uh, make sure you know how to turn on the power and open up Pack-a-Punch and Double Pack-a-Punch. If you don't know how to do any of those things, I do have tutorials for all of them. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description down below, but without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first step is easy. After you talk to Pam Greer for the first time in order to get your cheap powers, you need to talk to her for a second time and then you can go around the map and look for a rat cage. Make sure you're in Kung Fu mode and throw a shuriken at the cage in order to bust it open. Then the rat will start to run towards another cage. You'll need to follow the rat in order to find out which cage it is that the rat is going to. As soon as the rat goes into the second cage, you can use your shuriken again to bust the cage open. The rat will start to run towards the next cage. And this is the process that you'll have to basically repeat for about 5 or 6 times before it's done. You'll know when the process is finished when a giant yellow circle will start to appear in front of the last cage. Now you need to kill about 10 zombies or so uh, while they're standing in the circle. You don't have to be in the circle yourself, but the zombies will have to be in it in order for you to complete this step. After that, there will be a bunch of these kung fu zombies spawning in and you will have to kill all of them before you can move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. These guys are a pain in the ass, especially when there is 10 of them and they can teleport right in front of you and double hit you and red screen you instantly. So what I suggest you to do is to go in your kung fu mode and melee them as soon as they teleport in front of you. Alright, moving on to the next step. After you kill all these guys, there will be a key spawning in where the giant yellow circle was. You'll need to pick it up and open up a locker in the subway station underground. The locker that you're looking for is on the other side of the subway where Bang Bangs is located and it has Chinese letters written over it. Now you'll need to shoot four Chinese symbols around the map. The first symbol you'll be able to see if you're standing in the dojo area. If you look at that building, there will be two symbols on the wall. You'll need to shoot the one that's on the left. The second symbol is in the Inferno nightclub downstairs on a bathroom stall. You'll have to shoot the one that is not on the far left, but the one that is next to it. Now you'll need to go to the lion statue where the Volk Walby is located. It's right near the Dead Eye Dewdrops perk machine. There will be three symbols on the wall. You'll need to shoot the one on the far left and the one next to it. And those will be your third and your fourth symbols. You'll know that you've done this step right when you hear a gong sound after you shoot the last symbol. It'll sound like this. Moving on to the next step, there will be an orange symbol in front of the dojo on the ground. Hold extra square on it and you'll get to fight the Rat King. The best way to do this step is to unload on him as soon as he spawns because if you wait, he's going to start spawning these Kung Fu zombies and they can really damage you and hurt you. Uh, the Rat King himself can't really do much damage to you, but these guys can. So get Bang Bangs and pack a bunch of your gun before you start this step. Once you kill the Rat King, he's going to drop an eye. Pick up that eye and go talk to Pam Greer in order to move on to the next step. Once you have the eye, you can use your left shoulder pad to scan different areas of the map to reveal the Rat King symbol and shoot it. The symbols will spawn one at a time and you'll need to shoot a total of 6 in order to move on to the next step. As of now, there have been 13 spawn locations found for this symbol. I'm gonna go over all of them and if I ever find new ones, I'm gonna include them in the description. It can spawn to the side of the Inferno Disco sign. Once you face up an Adams, look up to your left, there should be a spawn there. There's another spawn in a dojo if you look up there. The window next to the dojo is also another spawn. There's another spawn location behind the speakers inside the music club in the dojo area. Next location is in a window on the roof near the dojo area. On the roof next to the RPR wall by, if you look at this building, you might see it there. Another spawn location is on this clothesline next to the magic wheel near Dead Eye Dewdrops. You might also see it on this police car behind the Bomb Stoppers perk machine. Go up to the roof where the Quickies perk machine is located. Uh, look outside this window and you might see it appear on this air duct. On the same roof you can also look at this water tank. Uh, just make sure you're looking at it from the right angle because it can be kind of tricky to see it. There's another spawn location near the Bang Bangs perk machine to the side of these stairs. If you jump up you'll be able to see it. And the last location is in the Inferno nightclub. There's a window near the Trailblazers perk machine. If you jump up, you should be able to see it. After you've shot all the six symbols, there will be a phone ringing in the subway station. Once you pick up the phone, it'll give you three numbers in Morse code. 
Now I'm not going to give you a full on lesson on how to read Morse code, but we only need to know how to read numbers. You will hear a total of 15 beeps, which is equivalent to three digits. Long beeps are dashes and short beeps are dots. Here's the cheat sheet that you can use to decipher the code. If you're playing solo, you can pause the game every five beeps in order to decipher your numbers. And if you're playing co-op, you can have one person keep the last zombie while you decipher the message. After you have your three digits, now you have to go around the map and look for a Nightmare Summer poster that has the same corresponding numbers on it. Pick up that poster and make sure it is the right one because if you fail this step and pick up the wrong poster, you will have to do the Rat King symbol step again. Now you can go up to the roof where the quickest perk machine is located and place the poster onto the spotlight projector. After you do that, an X will appear on a window. You then need to shoot that window using an explosive weapon. Once you do this, there will be about 20 kung fu zombies spawning in and you'll need to kill them all before you move on to the next step. Now the next step can be kinda tedious, so pay close attention. Six red symbols will appear all over this rooftop and if you look at this wall, you will see a pink English letter. Now here are the locations for the red symbols. Uh, they should be pretty easy to see, but just in case if you guys have any difficulties spotting them, uh, here are the locations I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Now each of the symbols that you see, they correspond to an English letter. You're gonna use these red symbols to spell out a word. The first letter of your word is the pink letter that's already on the wall. And the next red symbol that you shoot will be your second letter. And here's a cheat sheet that you can use in order to translate the letters. You can see a list of names that the community has spelled out so far in the description. You will know that you've spelled out the correct word when you hear a gong sound, which means that you've completed this step correctly. After this, you can go up to the rooftop where the RPR wall by is located. There will be a symbol on the ground. You can hold X or square on it and you'll get to fight the Rat King for the second time. He won't be any different this time, but after you kill him, he'll drop a brain which you'll have to pick up in order to move on to the next step. The next thing you'll need to do is talk to Pam Greer. On the upper right hand corner of your screen, there'll be a black circle which will be blinking about four times. This means that in about three rounds, you will get the missing real message. And basically what it does is it'll put you in the dojo area with all the entrances blocked off so you can't get out. Make sure you have good weaponry because if you don't, it can be a little problematic. After about a minute, you'll be free to get out of the dojo area. And you'll also notice that the game has skipped ahead three rounds. The next thing you'll have to do is to pick up the turnstile drop that is in front of the dojo. Now you'll need to go down to the subway station and put the missing turnstile back in its place. For the next step, you will have to go into the alleyway where Meal Munchies is located and climb up this ladder. Once you get on top of this platform, you can go all the way to the end, uh, look on the left hand side and you'll see a Rat King symbol through a window. You'll need to shoot that symbol to move on to the next step. Remember the giant yellow circle in the beginning of this easter egg? Well, now they're back and now you have to do six of them. They spawn one at a time, so basically after you finish one, the next one will spawn at a random location around the map, and they can also spawn in the same location twice. After you finish the last circle, you'll hear a gong sound, which confirms that you have done this step right. For the next step, you need to go to the Inferno Disco, go up to the DJ table, hold extra square, and that'll spawn a disco ball. Once you go back downstairs, you'll see a dancing zombie with a disco ball floating on top of their head. Basically, you'll need to train a whole bunch of zombies and get them down here to the dance floor. You'll need to get them close to the dancing zombie and once they're close enough, you can kill the dancing zombie. Then the disco ball will transfer to another zombie. You'll have to repeat this process a whole bunch of times before you'll hear a confirmation sound and you'll no longer see the disco ball. But make sure that the other zombies are close enough to the dancing zombie, otherwise it is not going to work. Once you are done with this step, you can now get outside the Inferno Disco. On the ground, there will be a Rat King symbol. Hold X or Square on it, and you'll get to fight the Rat King for the third time. Once you kill him, he'll drop a heart. You can pick it up to move on to the final step. Alright, we are here. You can go talk to Pam Gurrier for one last time. Then, you can make your way down to the sewer area to start the boss fight. Now before we get into this, there are a couple of things that I would like to mention. 
One is that if you're playing solo, you cannot die in this boss fight. Pam Gurrier will keep reviving you no matter what. If you're playing co-op, if one of you goes down, Pam Gurrier will revive you. If both of you go down at the same time, then you'll die. However, the one thing you do need to worry about is ammo. It can become real problematic if you're not careful with it. Do not spam your guns unless it is absolutely necessary to do so. Make sure you use all your ammo on the Rat King himself. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure you rank up at least one Chi Power. You'll need it for one of the stages in the boss fight. Plus, it can come in handy if you ever run out of ammo. One last thing to mention is that there are four wooden boxes around the arena. You can go into Kung Fu mode and melee them open. They will have random perks inside them, which then regenerate within few minutes of you using them. At first, when you enter the boss fight, all you have to do is kill the Rat King like you usually do. Then you'll see the Rat King's heart, his brain, and his eye around the arena. These three items pretty much represent the different stages of this boss fight. You can choose which stage to do first. I chose to do the eye, so that's what we're gonna go over first. A huge Rat King symbol will appear on the center of the arena. Hold X or square on it to begin this stage. This stage is not that difficult, but you do need to conserve ammo. You'll need to use your eye to scan the entire arena for these symbols. Once you have shot each and every single one of them, you'll get a max ammo and move on to the next stage. But before you do, you'll have to kill the Rat King one more time. Now moving on to the second stage of the boss fight, which is the heart. Now in my opinion, if you're playing solo, getting through the stage is probably the hardest thing that you'll ever have to do in this game. If you're playing co-op, this step will not be as hard, I will tell you this. But if you're playing solo, it is pretty damn difficult. Well you're probably asking, well what's so hard about it? I'll tell you what. There are these puddles of acid around the outer circle of the boss fight arena. You'll need to insta-kill zombies while they're standing on these puddles of acid. If you do it right, the acid will disappear and you can move on to the next puddle. You can only kill one zombie on each puddle of acid, but the problem is, there's a time limit. If you don't cleanse the entire arena under a certain amount of time, Willard Weiler will laugh and he will refill this entire arena with acid again. And you will have to go through this process again. It's pretty hard, but I will tell you how I did it. There is a fortune card called the Explosive Touch. What it does is that it'll make every single zombie that touches you explode. It'll last for about 60 seconds, which is the same amount of time that you'll need in order to complete this step. Go into Kung Fu mode, use that fortune card, go from puddle to puddle, and cleanse the entire arena under 60 seconds. If you do this right, you'll get a max ammo, then you'll fight the Rat King again, then you can move on to the next stage, which is the brain. And I'll be honest with you guys, when I went through this last stage, I had no idea what to do. I just kind of ran around in a circle, and after a certain amount of time, I was done with the step. Basically, there will be these zombies with blue eyes that will be attracted to the brain in the center of the arena. You'll just have to let them be, and kind of keep shooting at the Rat King, and after a certain amount of time, you'll be done with the step. It's not that hard. This step, probably the easiest. Once you're done with this final stage, you'll get a max ammo. You'll kill the Rat King for one last time, and then you will get the outro cutscene. Thank you, my young apprentices. With the Rat King's demise, you now possess the wisdom, strength, and courage to move forward on your journey. I present you with this token on behalf of all of those that remain imprisoned. May it serve you well on the journey ahead. Namaste. Damn, she was badass. Yeah, too bad she isn't coming along for the ride. 
All I know is if we catch you on the flip side, <laughs> I'm calling Dibs. Well, I guess it's time to grab that key and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Oh man, who the hell turned off all the color? Alright guys, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. I do hope this video helped you guys out. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.